Thomas Sewell. Okay. Thomas! Whatever happened Chill, to that, whatever happened to that one uh, Joe Rogan bro, video Bro, so the thing about that one is, like just the it just somehow disappeared, guys. Hopefully we find it one day. Damn. It Go was ahead. about, remember the Joe Rogan, we, um... We watched the dude, he like explained the whole concept of Thomas Sewell's yeah. philosophy. Oh, talking Rogan. about the rednecks and, uh, yeah. and oh, blacks. I don't think about that. that what, that's oh. what he said? Yeah. That's what he said. Well, he, said, he, said he said that the black people who were in slavery were robbed of their black culture, so when they were free slaves, they took adopted their, the they adopted the white culture. redneck culture, loved Jesus, uh, got guns, and like, uh, something else. Yeah, it was, a, yeah. I don't Had their own slang. Like yeah, own slang, things like that. that. All right, Being guys, like ghettos. Well, this yeah. is the man himself. The ghetto. In the ghetto. The ghetto. The ghetto. We heard somebody else say his philosophy, so but I'm trying to hear it from the man himself. I'm definitely very man interested in what is going to be said on this video. I've heard a, a lot about this guy, like you know? Professor. He's a philosopher. He looked like Grandpa off a of boom dot. Look him up, bro. See what he says. See what he says. <laughs> what's his name? Jo what's Witherspoon? What's his name? Who? Uh, what's Grandpa? Uh, the actor. John Witherspoon. Like, That's his name. Oh, he, he, he kind of does look like him. He like, kind of looks like that. Neil deGrasse Tyson. I can see why he said that. He's an American author. Oh, he's actually a Democrat. Oh, Democrat? He's a Democrat, and he's an e e economics and a political commentator. Our first blue pill! Our first blue pill. Is he blue pill, though? That's what Democrat is. Bro. I mean, I know, but like... Wow, he's taught at Rutgers, Howard, Cornell, University of Chicago, okay. UK, wow. Urban Sean, guy, huh? Yeah, he's taught at Stanford, that. Amherst, wow. Stanford and he graduated, and is a Harvard, Columbia, and University of Chicago grad. He has three degrees. Wow. The Harvard and Columbia, that's two Ivy League schools. Undergrad from, yeah, Col yeah Masters of Chicago. Is, uh, that, is, that, is that public or is that private? It's, I think that's it's, private. It's, it's, it's smaller. It's, it's, smaller. it's, it's right in the middle of the It's definitely private. I don't know if he's pregnant. It's definitely private. Because my cousin is going there right now for. It's I'm probably, pretty sure he ain't, he ain't. He ain't. He ain't. No, I'm pretty sure. My <laughs> University. It's weird. It sounds like it's, it's not like a liberal arts school. It's not it's it's like a private. Football, it's though. private. It's private. So research. is he not a, a philosopher? School. That's crazy. It's like yeah. I, I thought it's like an well, NAIA school. He's an author. No, it's this is like small do one. He's a professor. Huh? They usually have good degrees at NAIA's. Yeah, they do. I think it's the NIA Chicago University of Chicago. It, I think it's D1, bro. I don't think so, bro. I know Chicago Loyola is D1, but I don't think that one is. University of Chicago. I got no idea. I don't even know what they I look know. like, bro. It's, it's green. It's green yeah, and white. I definitely don't. We must talk about a different one. This one is maroon. maroon. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I think you might be talking about. I'm talking about Chicago State. State. Oh, right oh yeah. They D what? Is that right That's crazy. I know they no D3. colleges in Chicago. Oh yeah, because my cousin playing football. Play football. He played football for them. Yeah, yeah, I was talking about room. this school right yeah. here, Chicago State. Yeah, it's green and white. Yeah, I was gonna say. What's yeah. that school? This real smart MIT. Yeah, that's in Massachusetts. That's, what's the biggest school yeah. in Chicago? Uh, Northwestern. Northwestern. Oh, is that Northwestern? bigger than Illinois? In my Illinois, it might be bigger. Yeah, Illinois, because everybody go there. Might have happened, bro. All right, yeah, let's yeah, happen. Let's happen. We 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 rambling. Told you, my house is in the side. I We always go to that bit. When I grew up in the forties, when I grew up in Harlem in the forties and fifties, I never heard a gunshot. Sound like Charles? Thomas Sewell. That is crazy. I would like to hear his intellect. Well, let me oh, wow. read what you say in your preface. Um, you say, "Let me state here, and now that these essays do that, these essays do not mean one, all Southern whites were or are rednecks. Two, all Black Americans today or in the past were or are Black rednecks." One cannot predict, you write, much less forestall all the clever misinterpretations that others might put on one's words. The most that can be done is to alert honest people to the problem. Black rednecks, who are they? These would be blacks who came out of the Southern culture and who, who carried that culture with them north into the, into the urban ghettos, into the ghettos of the South for that matter. Uh, and who have not moved out of that culture since. Over the, over the years, both blacks and whites have moved away from that culture. But in the poorest and worst of the ghetto areas, there are lots of people who have not. And these kinds of, it's a, it's a culture which, which didn't do whites any good, and it's certainly not doing blacks any good today. And the tragedy is that people regard this culture as somehow the authentic black culture, and, and therefore you're not to interfere with it. I'm wow. proud to be a bartender. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I don't feel no ways tired. <laughs> She's serious. Too far. God, look at those cuts. Started from. Black English is considered Sounded. not quite proper English. On the other hand, if blacks happen to have all the power and uh, own all the corporations, and whites were working for them, it would be the other way around. 
there was a period, I'm trying to remember now, I believe it was in the mid-70s. Did you say the ball? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, when, uh, that was some standard that English began to become a, 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 yeah, a, 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 began to become viewed as a... I'm fucked back. I'm up. I ain't gonna lie. We gotta hear that. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Some white man said this. From where I started from. Black English is considered not quite proper English. On the other hand, if blacks happen to have all the power and uh, own all the corporations and whites were working for them, it would be the other way around. There was a period, I'm trying to remember now, I believe it was in the mid-70s, mm. when uh, substandard English began to become a, a, yes. a, 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 began to become viewed as a discipline of its own within linguistic oh, yes. studies and so forth. And for all I know, it was all perfectly legitimate that certain speech patterns would be traced back to various regions in Africa and so forth. And this is a, this is a language of its own. It has its own validity. But what the you argument, your argument would be, I don't really care what its validity is. It's holding people back. It's, yes. it's preventing them per, from participating. So what is he talking about? He's like talking about uh, like using like... Uh, but he said from language. Africa, though. He was looking to like, see if... Yeah, he's saying like, like it has validity in it. So like, when it's man, a real language. So when they say, man, y'all ain't know he's what's said, going on. No, he's right? saying it doesn't. It's no. Like they start saying it in America. Yeah. It's God dang, I good. know. What he was saying is the white... He's saying like that language itself has its own like validity to it. And he was saying like that particular language actually doesn't and it's holding us back. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. And the white guy was saying, like, that, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, he feels yeah. as though it does, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. That's what Bruce said. How, how y'all feel? Y'all feel like the, that talking... At least running back and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it makes you sound stupid. Yeah. It'll be traced back to various regions in Africa and so forth. Stupid. And this is, a, this is a language of its own. It has its own validity. Mm -hmm. But the argument, your argument would be, I don't really care what its validity is. It's holding people back. It's, yes. it's preventing them per, from participating in the wider society. Is that right? Ab absolutely. And also, none of these things went back to Africa. Oh, is that so? No. Mm -hmm. you, you can. Yes, they did not go back to Africa. Uh, if you look at the, the peace, for example, using the word axe for ask and stuff like that, uh, all of that goes back to the South. And, the, and, and it goes back to the parts of Britain from which white Southerners came. So if you trace the call, calling uh, hog entrails chitlins, uh, that was that 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 was in a certain section of Britain, the section from which whites moved into the south, and the people and they were known as uh, rednecks and crackers so in Britain in centuries past before they it's ever professor. set foot in the south. Uh, so it, it, the whole thing is as phony as the three dollar bill. In intellectuals and race, you cite an observation by the intelligence up. expert, IQ scientist James Flynn, that just stopped me cold. Mm. After the Second World War, you've got large numbers of, of American troops remaining in Germany. For that matter, there's still several tens of thousands there today. And both black and white American soldiers had children with German women. Mm. And Flynn discovered that those children growing up in Germany mm. showed no IQ differences at all. Mm. The, the, the black kids and the white kids, the same. Professor wow. Flynn concluded that the reason was that the offspring of black soldiers in Germany grew up in a nation with no black subculture. Yeah. Mm. I think that's common sense though, huh? Which means what? Which means they experienced exactly the same expectations. Is this the... They, so, no, 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 the expectations. So, so they pretty much saying there's no type of classism no, in no, Germany. No, 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 He's saying the sub, black subculture so is like the ghetto in the hood. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. that's basically like the whole thing. When he says black subculture, yeah. he's talking about like the people that stayed in the hood acting ghetto. Yeah. And but, they're saying that... Pure, that yeah, they're saying that, saying that that type of activity and culture is the black subculture. There. And they said it's valued here because black people see it as our original black culture. Yeah. That's why when people try to attack it, they be like, no, that's black culture. He's saying they... they try to see that as our original culture. That's why we use that in our culture. And he said, that's what's holding black people back. Yeah. So it's what are you saying that. about Germany? Like they didn't they have yeah. no He said in they Germany, he's saying in Germany, they don't have that. Like, so, no. so there's no niggas in the hood in Germany. So I was speaking about the, the classism. Dude. Yeah, yeah, it's not classism at all. So it's yeah. more of a it's more cultural of a, thing. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So yeah. where it's not accepted, those, those same black kids don't act that way. Yeah, because they don't see it. They don't have that. They don't have that to go off of. Here, you got rappers and all the prominent black Black figures that promote that. Well, I won't yeah, say now with the internet though, they see yeah. it. Yeah, they see it way worse. Yeah, it's worse than yeah. that's influenced. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's it. It's it's I guess, I guess what, what, what leads me to wonder if that isn't because I guess I'm under the assumption that that is our culture, right? So if that isn't our culture, what is our true culture then? Well, I mean, I what think, would be our? 
I mean, you know, because as far as we've known it, that is a culture. Well, to be honest with you, in the sixties, in the sixties, in the seventies, it was not. So let me ask you, how would you describe what black culture is, bro? It's like things like like that uplift us, like black, um, like I say, African types. Yeah, bro. I would say African American culture. I don't think that is black culture. Like people say, oh, that's how we supposed to act and acting black. I think that's negative to us to say that that ignorant behavior is acting black. That's that means that means when you say acting black, you think of something negative. So. You, so I acting see. black is negative. So when you say that to me is negative. So that being our culture is negative. So That's I don't right. see that as our culture. To me, like our black culture is things like uh, art, po- yeah, positive stuff, That's art, okay, uh, yeah. like people on TV, know the jazz, jazz music. Yeah, yeah. Like, That's all type of stuff. Like yeah. yeah. Black yeah. people did kind of soul yeah. 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 music. Soul music. Like, like, positive stuff. Yeah. Yeah. To say that. That's yeah. what I was. That's what I was referring to as our subculture. Like I was referring to. I was like, if even if the things that you guys mentioned, if you take that away, what would be? Oh yeah. But aside from all the killings. I mean, bro, bro, that, black yeah. people have invented stuff, Valid, like, all types right. of stuff. Like to say that that's Man. black culture, I, we, I don't, I don't yeah. agree with that. I think we just too far gone. We just know it. Yeah. You got the directors doing the, the toxic movies on top of that for black people. <laughs> yeah. They love it all. But the sad <laughs> part is, I think I don't think it's the fact that the director's fault. I think it's the audience's fault. That makes sense. Like I think they're doing based on demand. They're selling that based yeah, on because they, they sell. Sales. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm not, yeah, they wouldn't make that type of stuff. It's not that they're trying to push an agenda. I think Think that the audience like that so i think said. that they probably like it because it's a movie with all black it. actors and all black roles yeah. so they're like wow uh yeah, let's go watch this so they support it and that's just that's just the type of stuff that's popular with good actors that that's are black and the people black man yeah say exactly. so you like Oh, yeah. uh, Janet so Jackson's in this movie, and it's why did I get married? And it's a whole bunch of negative shit. But people went to go see it because Janet Jackson's in it, gotcha. and Tyler Perry's name's on it, so they went to go see it, and mm. it's just perpetuating that negative stuff. Mm. So I mean, like, if you put that yeah, in a positive crazy. movie where she's the lead, I'm sure scared. black people will come in droves to see that too. Yeah, that's 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 I think it's not. Sue happiness, Sue happiness. But now in the beginning, I was I feel bad. It just been less him and the child though, bro. Messed up. Black him, bro. I'm sorry, but he should brought up that movie. <laughs> the culture in which they grew up with was, was not the culture in which black kids grew up in America today. So they had There's no gangster rap. Mm-hmm. In Ger- uh, uh, that the, the was pervasively uh, uh, available in Germany. It is now. So here's That's what I'm getting. The there is something about they got black subculture in America today mm-hmm. that holds African Americans themselves back. Yes. <laughs> because that very sub- same subculture held white- whites in the South back as well. That in the time, this, this uh, mental testing in the First World War points. turned up, among other things, the fact that uh, whites from various oh, four or five southern states scored lower on the mental test than, than blacks from four or five northern states. And so it really was a question of the subculture that was Damn. there, which was a handicap to both. Who up north? I could go on for days about the social degeneration, but let me give you just one quick example. When I grew up in Harlem in the 40s and 50s, I never heard a gunshot. Now, I'm sure someone fired a gun somewhere in Harlem, but it was not such a pervasive thing that you had to hear it. You know, uh, I have relatives in Washington. I asked them the same question. People of my generation. Growing up in Did Washington, D.C. Yes, and, and low-income uh, black neighborhoods. Did you ever hear a gunshot when you were growing up? And the answer was no. I have relatives in North Carolina asked the same question. No. And now, uh, you know, people in housing projects especially, they put kids, some of them, in, uh, to bed in bathtubs so that they won't be hit by stray bullets in the night. Uh, now we take it for granted that wow. there's crimes, <laughs> tremendous levels of crime and violence uh, in the black community. This is crazy. That was not always the case in the 20s. It was very common for white celebrities, including George Gershwin and William Faulkner, to go up to Harlem not only for entertainment places, but to go into private homes of kid people they knew. Uh, and Gershwin played Rhapsody in Blue and, 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 and this, this home where, where Walter White lived. Uh, Milton Friedman, when he was a graduate student at, at Columbia, he and the lady he later married would go dancing at the Savoy Ballroom in Harlem. And he said, we had no fear of being uh, mugged or accosted on the street or anything like that. Uh, you've told, I've heard you say, Tom, when you were a boy growing up in Harlem yourself, mm-hmm. th- th- your own neighborhood felt totally yeah, safe to you. Not, not totally or, safe to you. I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't right. exaggerate. It is nothing resembling today. I mean, I did sleep on hot, hot nights. I would sleep out on the fire escape. When I tell people in Harlem that today, they, they think I'm, I'm, I'm from another galaxy. You know, but that people slept in, in, uh, on the fire escapes 
uh, in New York and in the public Dang. parks in the 30s, oh. all over the city, because because it was not like it was not a jungle. And you could run through a great number of other things. Uh, children raised without without two parents present. That was about 22 percent when the in 1960. One generation later, it was 67 percent. Dang. Dang. And it's gone up a little since then as well. And some, and, the, and now the rate among whites is higher than it was among blacks in 1960. Right. Right. Dang. Blood blowing. Pelodra, I'll I take responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Little I think, one, I it's think, your fault. I think I this shit is stupid as hell. Responsibility. What the hell? People this people this, this is that Black Lives Matter shit. That they I mean, turn this shit off, man. Hold up. Hold on, man. Let it run. Let it run. <laughs> I take responsibility. I take that's, that's cash, responsibility. responsibility. Black people, people are being too. slaughtered in the streets, killed in their own homes. These are our brothers and sisters, our friends, <laughs> our family. We are done watching them die. How do you define a white liberal? Those kinds of people who have the kinds of attitudes that are called liberal in the United States, although the word is misused, those people have created an atmosphere in which um, these counterproductive cultures are to be Celebrated, perpetuated, but he's liberal. Uh, and the consequences are overlooked. Correct. It reminds me of a that's scene in the Blue Max not. where this that's general that's is encouraging this daredevil that's pilot that's to do that's all that's kinds that's of that's wild that's stunts, that's you see, yeah. knowing that the guy's going to kill himself if he keeps that's doing that's this, that's and therefore the general will be rid of a uh, of a political problem. Uh, now, I don't think that the, the white liberals are, are doing this deliberately, but I think the net results are the same. They are cheering blacks on and doing on and doing things that are absolutely self destructive. Damn. I agree. Can we pause? She's one of these. So, Brent, I want to ask you a question, right? I, you, uh, what's up? Hmm? So, what's up? So, <laughs> oftentimes, oftentimes, you would say that we got to get out of this victim mindset, right? That how blacks, we often blame, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're the problem, right? Yeah. We got to stop blaming the white man for that. But based on based on what he said, does that change your mindset in the sense of, like, that is white liberals causing the harm? I mean, I mean they so kind of, they they, how are like, they causing they, the harm? They're not really causing they, the harm because they they are, they're also said. perpetuating that victim mindset, as you just heard. That was That's my, my Black Lives Matter video, them in support yeah. of that. I'm sorry, oh, it's our yeah. fault. What? Yeah. yeah now, now they're saying it's our fault that. that you're a victim. Yeah. We're not victims, bro. Like the white liberals, the people who like promoting yes, yes, the white liberals like, are the ones saying BLM. They're the ones yeah, saying yeah, all like, cops are bad. Yeah. That's, that's promoting that victimhood yeah. mentality. So that's what I'm asking. That's I'm not going to put that on them, but they're also enabling that victim gotcha. mentality. Okay. So you see they're they're also enabling gotcha. it. Okay. Like that, a white liberal will tell you, "Oh, you're a victim. This, you, you have it harder mm. because of your skin." Da, 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 da. They'll they'll Did tell you, you that. Mm. It's brainwashing you, bro. It's not. It's not. I mean, it may be true in some cases, you know. but To say that to all black people, I think it's with that message. Yeah, right? like, it's just, boy, and they, they're, they're making a video, what is that saving? Oh, yeah. That was, like, that was cringe. Oh, it was cringe. Yeah, bro. Like, that, what, that, what that, are that, you that, sorry that, for? During COVID, I don't know you. So, are they talking about police brutality on yes. that? Yes. Yes. yes, that was a BLM, that was a, that, was a, there, that was a BLM video. That was an example of white liberals, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so, to me, I think. Good point, Ryan. Discovering the research for my self-destructive. One of the things I discovered in the research for my, for my book I'm currently working on is that leaders of groups that are lagging in countries around the world uh, almost invariably have counterproductive policies for them. And it makes perfect sense because insofar as members of lagging groups assimilate into the values and uh, achievements of the larger society, uh, they don't need those leaders. I mean, there's no there's no mystery to me as to why Jesse Jackson says what he does, or Al Sharpton and others, because that benefits them, but it does not benefit the people they lead. And all the incentives are for, are for leaders to lead people uh, into things that that don't help the people, but help the leaders. What well, you you you. You create a, there would be an exception for Dr. King though, wouldn't there? Yes, but he, he, one of the things he was different because he was right. earliest, or what? Why? What's different about? Well, it's, it's like insurgent movements in general. Uh, when an insurgency starts off, by definition, it, it, it has an uphill battle. Now, as the and you can look at the history of Christianity for heaven's sake. Okay. Uh, if, if you're going to be a Christian in the in the, in the Roman Empire, you know, and, and, uh, before the first uh, in the first century, you had you had a lot of grief to go through. Yeah. Now, but after Christianity becomes the official religion of the Roman Empire, this is a bonanza, and there's a lot to be done. And so now you will follow policies that are the opposite of what you advocated. You will see that with all kinds of other uh, uh, insurgent movements. 
Somewhere watching this interview, there's a young Thomas Sowell. There's an African American who's smart and wants to do something with his life. What's, it seems to me I've all, we've already got one piece of advice you'd offer to him is stay away from the from the racist industry. Stay away from the what, race what, hustlers. What advi race hustlers. What advice would you give a young Thomas Sowell? How do you make something of yourself as an African American in America today? The way anybody else would. You equip yourself with skills that people are willing to pay for. Mm. I like that. I want to I like that. All right, so, yeah. I like okay. Tom. Thoughts. Can Thoughts. I uh, like readdress what you said? You said, what's black culture if not the subculture? Um, You know, things like uh, Harry Tubman and uh -huh. Thurgood Marshall. And what's that one? Booger T. Washington. People like that, you know? Mm -hmm. I think I think you might have misunderstood my question. Not more so like our original culture. I'm saying in present day to day, right? I'm just well, saying. How would we define black you know what I'm culture saying, But we're day. celebrating that old culture. When we look at the history of our people, we need to celebrate black people Good who point. invented things, leaders, educators, people that have innovated like mm. the first black people to Valid. do things we need to mm. celebrate people like that because they showed us that it's possible for us to succeed in, it, in these spaces and we need to celebrate things like that and push that forward True. but instead we're pushing the subculture and forward I agree with that. and putting people like Meek Mill gotcha. uh, to speak for black people Meek Mill yeah. raps about his young as being masked up for corona he been jailed and we don't need to speak for us bro yeah like I guess he's my not even smart every nigga swear so he felt that bar so let me ask you this I guess so you're saying the subculture so not what, what is should be right but it's like what black culture is today right if if it wasn't that that's why i was one like is there is what is black culture like as, see aside saying. from that like what we would it be that's what i'm saying because i think it's perpetuated to us i think all of us but i mean at least i was why, under assumption see, that what, what is white people's, people's culture they don't have one well i mean we can nah. say that but you know white people have they're like they're i mean well now they I mean, you can be a, white people yeah yeah you know, there could be a, you know like you said, I'll, I'll tell you what white culture is you know pick up polo truck. shirts the short shorts the suburb type dude. But like, that's what i think of when i think of and white then there's people. the redneck white yeah that's different you know that's different type. you and then there's redneck the california white whites. whites there's all you know yeah, there's all type of white yeah, but that's their culture you know what i'm saying yeah. like, if you were black and you go put that on they're gonna be like oh you dressing like a white boy you think you white so that's what you identify as white. And then the a white person put on some Jordans and sag his pants. And that what is it? You're culture, black. Culture, you know what I'm saying? On, it's, a, it's a... It's look, a look, look, I want to be the the things, things that you do. like Yeah, like, like a certain like, set place. Like the way the way of life in a certain set place. that's what y'all do. So culture is like the trends and the way of life in a certain set place. So it's it like... It is the arts and other manifestations of human intellectual achievement regarded collectively. So basically, just like things Rap like... Rap is our culture, bro. It's arts. It's music. That's just, that's the definition of culture now. So basically that, that to me means, it says it's intellectual achievement regarded collectively. So that just means things that people do collectively. Yeah. So like big groups do collectively. Yeah. yeah and it's like a tradition. So like this yes. is what we do. The New Orleans culture. Yeah. The so, culture, so, the so, OKC culture. So like, yeah. So country clubs. Yeah, I guess and all that. Like customs. Yeah, that, that's why Architecture culture. style, yeah. social standards and traditions that of this, of this particular set. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you know. Up. But you know. We have, black people have so many different cultures because it is black it's, it's people. A, like, yeah. What you mean, bro? And that's what my, I don't think I understand. But you got to look at that. But they also have white people. Like, like, that was my choose. question, and I think I didn't even explain it right. If we take away the, the whole poop shy, see that negative culture, right? In present day, in twenty twenty three, what is it? What would you? How would you define black I culture? I know. Hey, we're, we're all be together, we're bro. We're all be a unit. Like everybody bro. else, we just mm. have to re we have to define what black culture is. Yeah. That is what we're choosing to mm. be our culture. So if we take that out, we just celebrate the black people that don't do that stuff, like too far black now. people that's doing good things, like Michael B. Jordan. He's a big yeah. face. Yeah. Uh, what's the other dude that's in that movie with him? Uh, James Major, Jonathan Major. Jonathan yeah, like, bro, Denzel, people like him, like, yeah, Denzel, LeBron. Well, LeBron, like we just lift, uplift people like that that are trying to yeah, rebuild our community guys, and show yeah. that young black men that there's other things than that. That's yeah. what we need to put forward in the forefront and as our leaders and our speakers. I agree and, with that. And we don't need race hustlers. Oh, well, I'm going to keep it honey. Y'all might say I'm an asshole, but I don't feel like we should have an athlete be a speaks person for us. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, still though, I mean, still though, LeBron, 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 LeBron is more than an athlete. That's what I'm saying, though. No. He's a community yeah, activist. He can, like, he's, a, he's a billionaire. My point is, he's I understand everybody in schools, his community, sending his kids to college. Like, 
I, I, what to makes me, him not qualified? To, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you gonna choose? So like we gonna be choose our actresses, rappers. I just said not rappers. You mean not rappers? Actresses. What I'm saying is, bro, you can okay, choose other entertainment. You gotta think. Entertainment you gotta think entertainment t- okay, okay, I'm just saying that's why I use as an example. There's other black people we can use, but I'm just using them as an example. of Probably black figures that are doing good things. Yeah, they're that's what young people can strive for. That's just something I was saying. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. we don't need more rappers. All we're saying is, yeah. like, black people can do good things. Because yeah. I feel like everybody chooses their own culture. Because white people, it's different cultures. Yeah. It's the suit up tie, it's the hun boys. It's yeah. all type of things you can get into. Uh-huh. So yeah. choose the right culture. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, we okay, can't be okay. one thing. Okay, we can't bro, be bro. just one. We have to look at this as a, as a mass culture. Yeah. The subculture is 100% holding us back. Yeah. 100%. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, that, and what I was we, saying. That, that is the number one. But we can't just say if, 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 white people are... Let you know what I'm saying? Yeah, or yeah, good yeah. culture. We're, we're, not, yeah, we're, yeah, not, yeah. we're yeah. not, though. We're not, though. We're not, though. But as I'm saying, though, us as black people have to decide what our culture is going to so be. Me, the black subculture, that black people, at, as, at, a, at a, what's the word I'm looking for? At a large um, large number are adopting as our culture and deciding yeah. to follow is the, the number one detrimental thing to black people. Yes, yeah, like, Black people, valid. like young black men, will walk around in big groups, sagging their pants, Looking suspicious, With and the they get oh hands. the police are racist for following niggas. Yeah. You look yeah. suspicious. Yes, you look like so some. Of I feel like that's so the majority, majority of like. My question was that's the majority. Of my, my, I won't no. say it's the, I will say it is a. I won't say it's the majority, but I said there is a good majority of people. Yeah, that and to my, my, that. My, when something and they do these things that are indig uh, uh, um, indicative indicative uh, indicative of someone that has committed crimes or do bad things, no, and yeah. when they're profiled as that, it's racist. Yes, bro, I understand. And, like, but you have to realize like like if you weren't doing that thing or doing that you would be okay yeah, yeah. and to brandon's well, point i was saying that they see the people in front of them do exactly. yeah and what i was saying i think to brandon's point how i was trying to what i was trying to say is i think that like that culture has take has led a misconception of that what right that what is black culture yeah that's right and i was wondering i said well and that's what i was saying like if we take that away today what would be black culture because i think that so many that has given even black people in other cultures the the mis the misconception that that no, is listen, our present culture no, like my, so my problem the, is though is what it is no no go my yeah, problem is though and that was my Africa, question was, say Africa, bro. how do y'all feel all them different cultures all them have different cultures, cultures. Not, I know, bro. everybody in Africa have different cultures bro but listen listen saying. listen listen the we're reason, not all one no that's the whole point bro listen 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 let me say something let me say something let me tell you something let me tell you something that is what that is where the subculture comes from when they brought us over here as slaves us Having ties to Africa is gone. That's why when we were in slavery, we, that was our culture. Once we, we got out, once we got out, yeah. we went to the hood, the poor neighborhoods with the white rednecks and adopted that culture. Then he said, he said in the video, the whites left because they realized it was not serving them good. We stayed. Yeah. That's why the original black people, I mean, uh, black people that come up now that came from that, see that as the original black culture. Mm. That's why it grew. He mm. said that subculture of the black people that stayed in that and, and, and kept that culture alive is what's holding us back today. Yeah, that is what he's saying. Like so when you try to say like Africa, that's nothing to do with us. I don't know a single fucking person. Yeah. Africa. So to me, I don't say. I'm Africa, saying we're I'm black. Keep it we're black. That me Except living in all black everybody black has different. I mean, like we're all the same, bro. But I'm like, keep it, honey. We're, we're not. We have to not every choose, black person have to not I have choose seen. that culture. Is all I'm saying. Yeah, they do the same. Saying, shit, being, culture, a, being, being, a being a thug is a culture. Like Brandon Fisher. Okay, that's what I'm saying. He's saying, what should we choose? That is, thug culture I, is a culture. Yes, yes. yes. And yes. he's saying, yes. what, yes. what yes. should we choose? I just use so, Michael yeah. Jordan and them and all those people I named as That's a because they're they're good they're good examples of what yeah. you could be other than that. Yeah. But you know there's other people you could be like it's plenty of black dudes that's working nine to five jobs True. as executives at companies and things True. like that. We need to celebrate that because white people celebrate that shit. Yeah. They're like oh uh, and how do I shake his hand and meet him or like because I know plenty of dudes in my fraternity well, in Kappa that's bank presidents that's yeah. Owning their own stuff that that give us opportunities, but you know that's just to us because we're there. Yeah, you know, if there was more that. black we people that. that were coming to things like that, we could spread that opportunity. Yeah. And, spread well, that and not so much what we should pick. I think that they they have they get like I said, it just gives us a perception of that that subculture is not a subculture. That is, that is the black culture in itself. Exactly. That makes sense. And I was we like, have to kill that. And that's what I'm wondering. I'm like, and just like what Brandon was saying, like there is executives and things like that, like. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's the, the, like the, an asshole, the real. If I'm not one of them, I'm not trying to kill their culture. I don't care about it. If you're what? I'm not one of them. They're, they're not Which a part of my problem? culture. See, if I'm in Africa, you think I'm worried about what? I mean, I, I mean, no, all my people though. 
So it's kind of like, you know, but like, I'm but worried you, about my tribe. You, you got to see it like this, bro. I'm worried about my tribe. As a black man, as a black man. I'm not worried about another tribe. But you got to see it like this, bro. You got to see it like this, because as a black man in America, you are seen as the other perceptions around you. Like, yes. So white people might go meet them and see you as that. You, you just say you're not that. Yeah. So, but they don't know that. So that's all they've seen. So that's what they see in you. Yeah. So but for I us mean, as black people, if we want us to be seen as more than just that, we have to stop that. Because it's not going to stop. But, I mean, bro, yes, it is, bro. bro. But look, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how that starts. What you we have, we have you to give them a better that mindset. That mindset doesn't allow that to see, happen. Bro, that, that's, 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 that see, bro, that's that. See, because you see people downtown that's thugging it, and I say, I hate that. You be like, well, you black too. Like, well, bro, I don't want a black person to see a white people, other people to see them. And I can I'm see black. a white boy yeah. that's dressed like a black man, and I know what he's on. You see what I'm saying? Mm. So it's what you portray yourself. Okay, bro. But if we you know if we didn't make that cool, he wouldn't be doing that. Yeah, he would I mean, not be doing that. But yeah. it's white people promoting them, giving them the bread to promote oh, that. That's yeah. they're, they're exploiting it. Yeah, so yes. what I'm saying. because they it's profit gonna, from it, and we burn from it. it that's the problem. It's never going to end. Bro, bro, see, but we, I'm saying that we, mindset yes, will can perpetuate that. That's what I'm so saying. We have to be it. the ones who stop it. <laughs> like, we can't. 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 We can and that's what I'm saying, like glorifying that and accepting that reality will only like perpetuate, like they that, that's only yeah. gonna, that's only going to continue. With and, the, and the longer we glorify, like the Pooh Shiesty Mass and the the glorified. it's, it's going to turn. Every time you look on your phone, my point is because we glorify. Right, right, listen, right, listen, you're not glorifying it. Listen, right, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. All you're saying, the all I'm saying is we're doomed. That's all you're saying. It's too far gone. We understand that, but we was just saying in order to stop that, this is what needs to be done. It can't be stopped. Well, that's all right. I'm telling y'all though, bro. And it got people, people, I'm bringing Y'all keep saying stop Africa. It is good people in Africa. It yeah. is thugs in Africa. Yeah. Forever, yeah. it's gonna be thugs. Yeah. yeah. So oh, accept yeah. your nigga. Stop trying to go. We need to go save these thugs. It's, it's not, not saying that. It's not saying that. The big risk. We never said we wanted to save. The difference between us and Africa, and Africa is, is there's issue. predominantly black people in Africa. There's 13 percent black people in this country. There's more. I'm saying. And I'm not saying the number is going down. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I was going to be the one to fix the leak or be yeah, the plumber. Just, no, I'm just addressing like, this is how, if we were to fix the leak, that is how to fix the leak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but this. man, this was one of our most um, debatatory <laughs> videos. Yeah, it's it a lot dope. to get into Thomas, man. We're going to get into some more Thomas. It was a fun video. Man. Good. It was a fun video. Dude. Good. Um, we'll talk all good day. Discussion. Good Good. Yeah. Um, what did you say? Good banter? Yeah, it was good, man. Let us know if y'all like Thomas, man, and what y'all feeling about Thomas. And give us some more people to react to. We go.